officially ovulated and I wanted to kind of document my symptoms throughout each day between that two week wait. Now I don't I don't think we'll be pregnant this cycle. I think we missed our window, but I just wanted to document it and start that process of documenting my two week waits so that when we do get pregnant, I can share if I've noticed anything between the two week wait to see if you can notice symptoms before you're even pregnant. So for starters, I never, I haven't had really big symptoms as far as ovulation. I had very brief cramping in my lower back and sides, like one side, ovary like type cramping. But today I have a little bit of a lower back pain, no cramping, nauseous, um, and super fatigued and tired. I'm feeling a little bit better because I've been laying around all morning. And I'll probably have more energy throughout the evening. This happened yesterday. I was very fatigued and tired in the morning and laid down. I can't really nap. Um, the girls hardly let me nap, but um, I wish I could. <laughs> I've also noticed a minor headache and sore boobs, but I think that's just because my body's still figuring out that we're not breastfeeding anymore. So there might be occasional little um, tenderness. I really doubt that we are pregnant this cycle and right after the miscarriage. However, I wanted to document it just to document it. I will be testing um, March 5th. I should be 10 DPO then um, if I obviously haven't started my period and test until I either start my period or possibly get a positive, but we will see. I really doubt. I think I'm pretty sure based on my ovulation strips that we did not time it in time. Um, it's hard when your husband's working, so we shall see. So it is 2 DPO. Um, I'm in the same room because I'm laying here as the girls take a nap um, in the day bed in their playroom. It's the third day that I'm super tired and fatigued all day. Yesterday I did not get energy. It was worse. I was fatigued all day. And now I'm the same way today, so I'm hoping tomorrow I get my energy back because I'm not motivated at all. It's probably the most motivated I've been to pick up the camera, at least. Other than that, I'm like a tiny bit nauseous. Um, I feel like my bladder is going to explode every five seconds, and I have to pee a lot even though I know I'm not drinking that much water. Like, I should be drinking a lot more water and being able to hold it, but that's a symptom. I'm also having... I. I really don't know how to describe it. It's not cramping, but my uterus just feels tender is how I'm going to describe it. It just feels sore in a way, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to describe it. It feels funny. Something feels different. So I can kind of feel like as I was ovulating and now not. I don't really know how to describe it. So. That's 2DPO. It is 3DPO. Not many symptoms today as of right now, but um, I'm having a solid cramp. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, I was kind of feeling it yesterday too. It's not like regular cramping that comes and goes. It's just like a solid cramp. I mean, it comes and goes, but it, it feels different. I don't know. Some type of cramping today. A little bit of nausea this morning, but it could have been because of my pre-workout. And a little bit of sore boobs, but again, that could be because of breastfeeding. So, it's either or um, at this point. I am very bloated, though. I am extremely bloated. Last night, I was extremely bloated, especially. Um, and then I woke up, and I was back to my <laughs> fit self. And I just bloat a lot more. And it doesn't seem because of food. It just seems... To be bloating as soon as I'm up and walking around. So I have noticed that, that I'm extremely bloated. This is wild. I am so oh, bloated. Why am I so bloated? It hurts. <coughs> oh, if I suck in, that's like my normal. Even then, I'm still bloated. It's not my normal, like, stomach. Ugh, it's like cramping. It feels like whew, I'm preparing for labor and I'm not even...
pregnant. Ugh. Ow. I hope there's a baby burrowing in there. I really do. So it is 4 DPO. Nothing really today. I'm just still tired and unmotivated and not feeling like myself. I'm eating poorly, not working out, and just bleh. Like I feel tired and just unmotivated. I don't feel like really doing much today. Um, symptom wise, I have a little bit of back pain, but it's more of my middle back. It's not my lower back. So that's a little weird. Um, and I don't really know if that counts as a symptom, but I'm gonna letting you know what I'm feeling. Yeah, nothing else really today. I'm uh, just waiting for these next few days of February to end and March 1st, I will start testing. That should be like 7 DPO. I know it's super early, but we're gonna start testing um, 7 DPO and then go from there, see what happens. I really, really, really doubt that we are actually pregnant this month, but I still have hope for it and I pray over it, um, but I feel like we just missed our timeline, so that's another thing that I'm struggling with, and kind of anxious to just get my period already, so that we can keep trying, so I'm gonna also make a new to-do list, um, to keep my mind busy and stuff to do while we're waiting through this process, I just need to get back to my regular routines, that's it, these past few days have just been awful, with not doing my normal Bible study and workouts and meal plans and everything that I was doing to keep my mind off this. I've been so tired and in a funk that all I think about is pregnancy. And that's all I've been watching on YouTube. So I just need to get past these next few days. So 5DPO. I've been nauseous all day and tired. Um, I had color discharge, so as much as I'd love for that to be implantation, I have a feeling it's the beginning of my period, so now it's really a waiting game. I had vivid dreams again last night, really weird vivid dreams, and I felt earlier like my milk was trying to come in, but like I said, with stopping breastfeeding, I think that's just normal. So I don't really count that as any type of symptom to look out for. I want to be hopeful, but I also know that even if you're hopeful, things can happen. I want to be obviously so badly to be pregnant again, but I'm also trying to not get my hopes up, so I'm letting myself know like the likelihood of that is not likely, and that I'm most likely not going to be pregnant and I'm gonna have to wait it out for a few more months and just remind myself of God's timing. So we're at 60 PO. A little back from yesterday, I didn't really describe much of the discharge I had. I have not had coloration since then, but it was more of a pinky type discharge um i think twice when i went to the bathroom and checked other than that i have not had coloration it wasn't brown or red it was that pinky mixed in with the regular discharged color before bed i was extremely nauseous horrible it, it reminded me of pregnancy nausea so we will see if that's actually the case or if it was just maybe what i ate yesterday i don't know but i was extremely nauseous before going to bed it was hard to fall asleep and as of today i had to get ready and put on like jeans and an outfit because i literally felt so sad and don't didn't want to feel this way so i got ready had my hair down um curled it just put on some light makeup i'm going to do my nails and everything tonight it was just, my emotions are just really bad today. So this morning I was very depressed and sad and overwhelmed and wanted to cry. I did cry at reels of coming homes, um, of military people coming home and surprising their parents. And then this guy got a blanket of his dead wife's shirts made into a blanket and I was just bawling. So my emotions are extremely heightened today. I'm trying to feel better by dressing up and doing stuff around the house. But other symptom wise, uh, just a little headache. Um, I have a really bad earache for both ears, which is 
really strange. I don't know what that's from. I just thought that was weird. I wanted to mention that in there because I just noticed that. That probably has nothing to do with period, PMSing, or pregnancy, but I just wanted to mention that because I just noticed it today and it kind of hurt when I was doing my makeup. Other than that, just a little bit of nausea. Nothing else really other than heightened emotions, so... I will probably test tomorrow, 7 DPO, and continue to take the easy at home pregnancy test, the GBs. Um, cause I was gonna wait till I missed my period, but there's no way that I'm gonna be able to do that. I'd rather know right away. I wanna know immediately whenever my body starts having that little embryo implanted. I wanna know as soon as I can that I'm pregnant so that I can take care of me and take care of baby and take care of going to the doctor to make sure that baby is sticking. So, we continue to wait and we will start testing tomorrow. So, 70 PO, I cut my hair. <laughs> Today, not many symptoms other than this morning I had more of a brown tinted discharge, which, I don't know, reminds me of my miscarriage so I kind of think almost I'm leaning more on the side that I'm going to be starting my period soon but there's still a chance that is implantation coloration but I don't I don't know it's kind of 50 50 at this point but I'm leaning more on the side of I don't really think I am pregnant however right now I am incredibly nauseous I don't normally get nauseous when eating tacos but I had tacos and nothing was bad on it like as far as like the sour cream lettuce chicken peppers like nothing was bad on it I don't I don't know what the nausea is from all I know is I'm just incredibly nauseous and I did take a chibi pregnancy test this morning and it was negative layering negative like stark white negative so like I said, I'm leaning more on the side that I'm not pregnant. There's always hope until you actually start your period, and I know that. And looking back at my miscarriage, I did not get a positive pregnancy test and my super, super faint pregnancy test at that to 11 DPO. I was 11 days past ovulation when I got my very first faint positive test. So I technically have a, while, a few days till I even get that faint positive. But it's also hard looking at all these negative tests and it's mentally challenging when all you're getting is negatives. So I'm trying to stay hopeful and optimistic and say like this is our month. We're going to get it no matter what. But I'm also trying to not let myself get my hopes up majorly and just be completely shattered. So I think that's why I'm on the side of you're not pregnant. You are going to get your period soon. Discharge coloration is for your period. Be prepared. So, 7D PO. We'll see. This video will most likely be deleted and never seen. But between me and only me, <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like I'm pregnant. Even more so, for some reason, I feel like it's, if I am pregnant, it'll be a boy. I don't know. I don't know. It could just be me freaking just wanting this so badly and daydreaming about all this. But I don't know. I just have a weird feeling. My um, tests are still technically negative. Anyone who would see these tests would be like, yeah, you're definitely not pregnant. But I am noticing a little shadow on my test today versus my other test. You cannot see, I will show. But you cannot notice at all. Um, not unless you are not unless you were like in person looking at these with me or you have experienced looking at tests super super early. So the reason why I can see this shadow is because um through the miscarriage, I kept testing to make sure that my line completely disappeared and I could notice the most simple line until it was dark white. I can notice that there's a shadow of a line and I only hope that this gets 
darker to where it's actually a line that's visible for everybody to see. I just have a feeling that I'm pregnant and I don't want to get excited, but I'm so hopeful. So it's ADPO and I knew better than to get my freaking hopes up. But did I do it anyways? Yeah, I did. I'm like basically starting my period. I'm having spotting, um, like dark brown. That's how it starts out. It starts out dark brown. And then it goes into a period. I'll probably have full blown period tomorrow morning, if not like throughout the day. I was having every freaking symptom, um, so I was having hope. But nope, we're starting our period. <laughs> I'm taking it a little bit harder than I probably should, but... So I think we're gonna skip next month. And May, just because it's Natalie's birthday, so I don't know. I don't even feel like trying, honestly. Like, we have literally only tried for one month, and I just don't want to do it anymore. So, I think I'm gonna take a break from trying until I feel like I'm ready, I guess, to do it again. <laughs> I hate this. It is 9 DPO. I have not had any bleeding since that one dark brown spotting situation. I mean, they said that it could be both period or implantation bleeding. I have never had implantation bleeding with either of my girls. So that's why I think for sure it's my period. But I haven't had anything since then, so I guess that's a waiting game. As far as symptoms though, super nauseous i was super nauseous last night um and again a little bit this morning and right now noon i'm extremely nauseous um i have a little bit of back pain a little bit of a headache but nothing too bad i did have another really weird vivid dream last night but yeah um i'm feeling a little bit hopeful today just because i don't know why i haven't fully started my period but y'all will know as soon as I do uh, I feel like my when I'm actually pregnant that two week wait I'll have no symptoms and then of course when I'm starting my period I have every symptom under the moon I feel like that's what's gonna happen so we're gonna wait go through another day so it's still 90 p.m. but I'm pregnant <laughs> Oh my god. I'm pregnant. Since I hadn't had any more bleeding except that one time and it being just brown discharge, I decided to take a chibi and this is how it came back. Super faint, so you probably can't. But there's a line. I almost knew immediately because I had the same exact faint line with my last pregnancy. I had so many waves of emotions because I literally thought I started my period with that discharge, but it was just brown discharge and not bleeding. And apparently, to Google, it could be both, but. 
so that it was most likely pregnancy related. So that's why I took the cheapie. And lo and behold, <laughs> I'm in shock, honestly. I thought we missed our window. I thought we were out this month. I told myself I wasn't gonna keep trying. Um, I drank alcohol <laughs> and had raw cookie dough. I know that can't miss make you miss Carrie, but I I just so now I'm like taking my prenatals, eating like crazy, which I finally have an appetite to do, but oh, eating my healthy foods, taking care of my body, resting when I need rest. I just can't believe it. Like I had a gut feeling, but like I've thought I've had gut feelings before and it wasn't right. But, but here we are, 90 PO. That's the craziest thing out of all of this is I got my very, very, very faint positive, more faint than the cheapy I showed you um, our previous pregnancy. It was that faint at 11 DPO. And I have this line at 9 DPO. So not only do I have lines that are darker earlier and hopefully get darker quicker we'll see i'm gonna get my blood draw and test daily but i also had pregnancy symptoms since ovulation that blows my mind like i was so convinced i wasn't gonna have any symptoms and be pregnant and then have all these symptoms and not be pregnant but i had all of these pregnancy symptoms since ovulation it just makes me so happy because i felt nothing with the previous pregnancy not like a single ounce of pregnancy symptoms i didn't feel pregnant i didn't feel like i even had like a baby like i just i just didn't feel anything and i felt like the whole time there was something wrong and something wasn't right and now i just feel the complete opposite i have every symptom to remind me that i am pregnant so i messaged my doctor and we're gonna try to get me in for blood work next week and then we're going to i guess weekly get my blood draw until my ultrasound which i'm hoping they can get me in sooner i'm hoping around the seven to eight week mark rather than the nine or ten to twelve week mark but we'll see um and we're just gonna keep testing and keeping this a secret and i'm gonna tell my babies every day that they're getting a sibling and talk to them Ugh, I can't believe it. I can't yeah. believe I can't believe it. I'm so ecstatic. I, I'm so nervous, but I'm so hopeful. And feel like this is our rainbow baby. Mm.